Diddly 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 ding. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to Your Music Live. This is our weekly two-hour independent music show where I play your best independent music and we do it live. We do it all thanks to our wonderful sponsors, DistroKid. If you are an independent artist, you're looking to release your music to Spotify, to Apple Music, to Deezer, to Amazon, to all the places, less than $20 per year and you can save yourself 7% off any DistroKid plan using the link up above. Are you ready for some music? I'm sure as heck ready for some music. Let's play some music. Uh, we're going to kick off with a track from an artist by the name of Vero, who we've heard on the show here before. And uh, this is a new one from her called Surprise here to kick us off on your music live. <laughs> Jesus. Surprise. The only thing not surprising is that that is a great track from Vero. Very cool stuff there indeed. Thank you for sharing that one. Uh, the, that one came to us via our friend Russ8889 who says this is a track by Vero called Surprise. I had to send it in as it's a great song and video. This is taken from the Wheel of Emotions album due out later this month. Vero actually dropped a pre-album this week on Bandcamp called Echoes from the Inner World and all their music is released through DistroKid. Why? Because DistroKid is simply the best and easiest way to release your independent music online. They make it super, super simple, and we are very happy to continue to have DistroKid on board as a major sponsor of Your Music Live in 2023. Should we crack on and play some more music? Yeah, I think so. We're going to play another tune here. Speaking of DistroKid, this is over on Slaps.com, and this is an artist by the name of Burnt Log. Yeah, I love some of the cool names of your artist names that folks come up with, but Burnt Log have a, a song here. They say it's about anger and regret, though based on reality, I enjoy ending songs with a suggestion that something more sinister is going on. The guitar effects are a deliberate uh, attempt at a shoegaze style recorded in my kitchen, which is not ideal, but perhaps the noise of the dishwasher and fridge contribute to the atmosphere somehow. I love it. Use use your spaces, folks. Use what you've got around you, including your noisy fridge, because sometimes Sometimes, you know, what, what people, sometimes people pay good money to have, you know, noisy tracks, so have it like a tape, a tape hiss or a record scratch. And then, uh, yeah, if you've got a fridge that makes an interesting groan, maybe you just uh, use it and throw it on your track. Let's give this one a spin. It is Burnt Log and uh, it is their track called A Disturbance on your music live. Stop. 
Birch Log and A Disturbance. Yeah, Shoegaze Tastic, that one. Really, really cool tune and uh, shared over there on slaps.com. The cool thing about slaps is, as you can see there, I've thrown some fire on that one. I can save that one into my catalog for future listening. And sharing is as easy as just hitting share and getting a nice, simple link. Did you hear that, SoundCloud? A really short, simple link. <laughs> YouTube, everyone else that has long links. So very cool. And we can actually put a comment down here and say, just spun this track on, whoop, could spell track on YML. Awesome. So you can uh, comment on other people's music. You can share your own music over there. And uh, it's a great platform from DistroKid for free to share your music. I call it DistroKid Lite because before you go and spend all your hard-earned, well, not actually that much, spend $20 a year and get your music out there with DistroKid, you can uh, jump on slaps.com and share some music. If it's your first time here, there's a couple of uh, little housekeeping bits and pieces I want to let you know. As you would have noticed, we play about one to two minutes of all the songs. That way we get through nearly 40 tracks in two hours. It's a lot of fun all the links to all the songs i play are down in the description so if you miss a song if you're like who was that cool shoegaze tune that was just played well it was burnt log you can check out the link down in the description and if you want to submit a song for future consideration there is a qr code that is just up there or you can use the link down in the description just go to, to studiolivetoday.com slash y M L. It stands for Your Music Live. Let's crack on with our next track. This one is also on Slaps.com. A couple of slappers in a row. Uh, this is from Gary Ford, and Gary says, uh, Carnsdale Road was recorded and mixed in my home studio, and the track is about the road where I grew up as a kid. So a little nostalgia going on here. Uh, Gary Ford with this one called Carnsdale Road on Your Music Live. <laughs> Back then life would be And so cool to grow up by the sea Felt like the summers would never end A million dreams were ours to spend Those days are gone Ford with an absolute bop of a song there, Carnsdale Road. I want to go there. If the if the road is as cool as the song sounds, really good. Yeah, people were digging the harmonies on that one. I must admit, yeah, really love those sort of harmonies. I, I heard a bit of George Harrison style harmonies from sort of his tracks in the eighties and nineties. Uh, folks were saying uh, uh, it was a little bit. Uh, who was the band? People kept saying bit, bit Peter Gabriel. Yeah, a bit Genesis sort of style. A little REM thrown in there. Very very cool stuff. Yeah, reminds me of the seventies in California. Says Rena. Yeah, definitely a bit more of an old school seventies vibe. Very good job. Indeed. Liverpool sound even, says Kronk Song. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. That's the cool thing. I don't know why we do it, but whenever you listen to music, don't you just have to compare it? You're like, oh, it sounds like blah meets blah. I'm guilty of it. 
maybe we just let it be Gary Ford, but uh, I don't know. There's something about it that we um, that we like to compare it to other things. There you go. 60s sound, says Jenny. Hello, Jenny Jolivet. Uh, and there's Gary Ford. There's the man of the moment himself, Gary Ford, who is uh, smart enough to be using slaps.com. And I'm assuming Distro Kid to get your stuff out there. Don't forget, you can release your music using the amazing Distro Kid. And uh, there's links down in the description if you want to go ahead and do just that. The next tune... This one comes to us from Scuba Cloud. And Scuba Cloud say, this is our good vibe song. We recorded it in several sessions over the summer and let the good weather inspire us. Well, it is summertime here in Australia, so I'm feeling pretty summery. So uh, why don't we give this one a little spin? This is called Orange Tremble. It is Scuba Cloud on your music live. Very cool stuff indeed. That was just funktastic, wasn't it? Yeah, Scuba Cloud, Orange Tremble. I reckon that's the first time we've played Scuba Cloud here on Your Music Live. Could be wrong, but um, yeah, as Steve Tosh says, spot on. I'm seeing some folks we haven't seen around for a while. Steve Tosh, g'day to you. Clay Farris, hello to you. Uh, hello, everyone. Um, scuba Clowns... <laughs> Scuba clowns are great. Scuba cloud, scuba clowns, whatever, whatever rolls, whatever floats your boat. That is a really, really cool track, and I dig it. Uh, and uh, by the way, if you're wondering, hey, how did they make such a cool looking video? And boy, do I wish I could make my videos look cool without a whole lot of effort. Well, that's what I wanted to talk about here today, because our sponsors, DistroKid, not only do they help you release your music to all the platforms, to Spotify, Apple Music, Deezer, Amazon, Tidal, all the places, They've actually got a whole bunch of really cool features, which I'm going to talk to you about one of those here today. So if you come in here and you go to your little drop down here, you've got a whole bunch of cool stuff here. You've got a bunch of goodies. You've got a bunch of ways to promote yourself. And one of the cool things we have here is the mini videos and the Vizzy video generator. So if you want to get started for free, and again, you've got to have a DistroKid account, but let's say you've signed up to DistroKid and you're like, I've got a new single dropping. I want to be able to promote it. If you click the mini videos here, check this out. You can create cool little videos here with some nice animated backgrounds and some cool stuff going on. I like wha wacky, waving, floating, inflatable, arm um, flailing tube band, personally. But there's a bunch of these. They add to them and they change them all the time. This one looks kind of nice. So the fall. So you've got a, a song about fall the season as opposed to falling down. What you do is you come in here, you click on this, you pick one of your songs. So let's just say I wanted it to be uh, my song called, um, what should we go with? We'll go with uh, My Murdering Time. <laughs> <laughs> what it'll do is it'll actually add my album artwork to this. You can put an announcement here, which is, um, oh, it's typing backwards. Did the computer ever do that thing where it types backwards? 
weird. So you can put an announcement there. We're not going to do it for now. You can put that. You can change where it starts. So if your song really kicks in at like the one minute five mark, I've forgotten where it does for this. You can change that. Then you hit the generate video button and it will create you. See how it's processing there? It creates you a little video. Now here's one I prepared earlier for my song work in progress. If we click the view button on this one, we can actually check out this video. Let's take a look. Because we're all just so I can Pretty cool, yeah. And you can share it directly from here or the other cool thing you can do is actually download it. So you can download that little mini video and then share it to your Instagram, your Facebook, on your newsletter, whatever you want to do. YouTube, put it, make a YouTube short. What a great way to promote your video. A free way to make a cool YouTube short or TikTok video of your song. So that is sort of the first part that you can do there. Now, if you want to make a really, like a full length video, like we saw before, then you can check out the Vizzy video creator. So if you jump in here, here and you go to promote yourself and you go to the Vizzy video generator. These ones will cost you a little bit. Uh, I think they're about $10 each last time I tried them. Let's just jump in and have a quick squizzle, shall we? So you can come in here and let's just say we wanted to use this nice fireplace template. We can create a whole full length album and you can choose to have it either landscape or portrait or square. And if we say what well, one of these, it'll let us know. Uh, we'll choose a song and it'll let us know what it's going to cost us to do that. So it's $8.99. So nine dollars and you get yourself a really cool bit of video to use to promote your music with distro kid so uh just another little thing thrown in there again for free i love the little free ones because again 30 seconds of your song you can just share it everywhere and people know what your song's all about so we do thank distro kid for their ongoing support of studio live today and your music live they really are the independent music experts and they do a great job next up we've got a track here from scribbles who say every Every day is an unknown. What awaits you when you wake? I wrote this in Logic Pro on my MacBook, and we're going to play it. It is called Fate Full Day, and it's from Skibbles. And we're going to play it live here on Your Music Live. You got some uh, some very cool bass stuff. Hello, PA. Yeah, like the vocoder on there, those uh, bass grooves just all came together. And uh, a little bit of artwork there in the background. It's like, it's, it's floating. It looks like a green screen, but painted. I don't know. It's just very cool. Very nicely done there uh, from, uh, from our friends Scribbles and Fate. 
what, we've had a whole bunch of different music, haven't we? We've, we've only played five songs and they've all been completely different. They've all been awesome, but they've all been completely different. So that's the sort of stuff we get around here. And don't forget, if you want to go back and support the artists that we play here, check them out on YouTube or SoundCloud or Slaps.com, wherever they're sharing their music, check out the links down in the description and you can find the artists and support them where they release their music. Like our friends Haydn, who have this next track coming up for us right now. Uh, they say, wrote this song in June, but I just recently reworked it and released it, and it's over on the Cloud of Sounds. We're going to give it a spin right now. This is Like That, Haydn, on your music live. Yeah, Never knew what they meant when they told me that happiness just can't be bought But now it's clear to me, it's clear to see You and me had it so misunderstood You know that we have it so Hooky chorus there, kick straight into it from the word go. Really good, poppy, rocky goodness there. Yeah, the melancholic chorus. Yeah, the Romeo and Juliet reference. Really good. A total jam. Definitely a bit of a dance groove there, as Mike and Dawn say. I like it. I like everything that we're playing here today. Uh, you folks just make some amazing music, and uh, that is just there's just no exception to that. I love it a lot. All right, coming up after this next track, we will have our Play My Fire Beat segment. Now, if you're new to the show, that means that you get an opportunity to have a song played right here, right now, on the show. All the other songs that we're playing here today have been pre-submitted, pre-screened, pre-put into the playlist, and we're playing through those. But just to add a sprinkle of spiciness to the proceedings, we also do Play My Fire Beat. So if you have a song that you would like to have played... All you need to do is enter that. I'll tell you how to enter the competition after this song. It is dead simple. It is just a keyword you put in the chat and you'll be entered in. And if you, your name gets chosen, you'll be able to have your song played. Let's, while, before we do that, uh, that's a bit of a teaser, I know. We're going to play this track from Michael Thompson, who says, this is a song from my Chasing Go Old Ghosts CD called Time. So you're going to have to wait a little bit more time for the Play My Fire beat, but it's going to be a pleasant wait because it's going to be with Michael Thompson. So uh, let's play this track here on your music live. <laughs>
very sweet rock and roll there from Michael Thompson. Yeah, Frank, you came in at just the right time to hear some awesome, amazing riffage there from our man Michael Thompson. Yeah, Chris Lane Sr. is a fan. Uh, I am too. So thank you, Michael. That was super cool. I love nothing better than a a little bit of chugga chugga, a little bit of riffage goes down smooth. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> Michael Thompson there on your music live. All right, it is time to do our Play My Fire beat. Now, listen carefully, folks, because this is your opportunity to have a song played right here on the show. So what we're going to do is uh, we are going to have a keyword, a code word in just about three seconds. And all you need to do is put that hashtag, that code word right here in the chat on YouTube The automated algorithm will choose one person and then you'll get to choose to have your song played. Now, listen to this part carefully. You need to just tell me in plain text here in the chat. You need to say, my name is this, my platform is this, and the song title is this. So if it was me, I'd go YouTube, Pete John's work in progress, if you win. So only if you win do you need to do that. Because if you put a link in there, it'll completely not come through. The reason being, if I let links come into the live feed, you know what would happen, folks. You know exactly what would happen. It would get completely spammed and clogged by people spamming us with their links. So all you need to do is, uh, yep, people have already got it there, haven't even said, but just go hashtag rock. And if you put hashtag rock like all of these fine folks are doing right now, you'll have an opportunity to have one of your songs played right here on the show. So get your rock on, get your rock on, honeys, and uh, you'll have a chance. While you're getting your rock on, Let's uh, grab a track from another Michael. We've gone back-to-back Michaels. But this is Michael, the French spelling with M-I. Is it Michael or Michelle? Have I asked you this before, Michael? I've always called you Michael. Uh, AKA Zealand Band. He says, hi, Pete. A little ditty called Poison Pill, made with love and mastered in Lursen. So we're going to go back to slaps.com to give this one a spin. This is Michael, AKA Zealand Band, and Poison Pill on your music. Love. Gotta love a little bit of Michael, a.k.a. Z-Land Band. Always bringing something fresh, something new, something funky, something different. And I think it's because he's always traveling. He's always inspired by something new and different. And he's always able to create more cool tunes just like that one. Exactly as Mark says there. Thank you for sharing that one. Michael, appreciate Hey, Scott Borthwick, I hope you are doing well, my friend. I think I said g'day to you earlier. If I don't say hello to you, it's because there's a lot of you. And it's a wonderful problem to have. And I don't want you to feel any less special. But uh, yeah, the best way is to, uh, to make some insightful comments. Or just throw some Zs in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> and you'll usually get your name thrown up on the screen. Speaking of throwing things up on the screen, I've thrown up the keyword. We've had 33 entries. That may be a record. So apologies. You've only got about a one in, uh, what is that? A one in 33 chance. No? Yeah, about that. Uh, 33%, about a 3% chance of, uh, of having your name selected. So if you haven't, you've got about five seconds left to put hashtag rock in the chat. And uh, if you win, you will have an opportunity to have one of your songs played right here, right now on the show. I'm just going to, uh, I'm going to queue up. We're going to use a little bit of Michael's music as our background music as we spin the wheel. So should we do it? Hey, DJ, spin that wheel. Let's do it. Good luck, everybody. Who will win a free play? 
of Studio Lab today? Will it be Clark Zong or Gary Ford? Or will it be Barry Glenn? It will be the one, the only Barry Glenn, fresh back from the sheep dip and ready to share one of his amazing tunes with us here on Studio Live today. So Barry Glenn, Barry knows the drill. Barry's been around for a while. So Baz, all you need to do is throw the name of your track, your artist name, and the platform that it is located on. We will give it a spin, and we'll do that right up next. While we wait for Barry to decide what he is going to pleasure our ear holes with, we're going to grab this tune from Rock Art, who say a song of contradictions, recorded with GarageBand on iPad, mixed in Logic Pro on MacBook, and mastered in Lurson on iPad and it is called Don't Bring Me Down. It's an absolute bop and we're going to play it live for you now on Your Music Live. If you have been around the community for a while, uh, you should watch the whole thing. There's a lot of interesting stuff going on there. Have I played that before? I know I've played a similar song from Rock Art before. I remember him wearing the Studio Live Today logo. I could have played that before. But you know what? It's a jam. It's a bop. I'm more than happy to spin it more than once, if that is the case. He is a unique talent. He was wearing a Hubs, uh, Hubs shirt as well. So, you know, that's, uh, that, that, pay, that uh, pays for a lot as well. Uh, hello, uh, hello to Jerry Gomes. Yeah, Tom Petty feel on that one, don't you reckon? Very Tom Petty kind of vibe on that one. Good stuff, indeed. Uh, now we're still waiting on the winner of our fire beat, which is Barry Glenn. This bloke here, Barry. Uh, if you haven't already, uh, if you have, I've missed it. But make sure you let us know, just in plain text here in the chat, which song you would like us to play, and we will play a, uh, a Barry Glenn or a Joe and Barry song, whatever you would like to choose for us to play. We will play it today because you were the winner of the play, My Fire Beat. While we wait on Baz, we're going to play another tune here. This one comes to us from uh, George or Jorge. Never quite know how to say or pronounce that, uh, that name. It's J-O-R. G-E. I think it's Jorge. I think that's how it's usually pronounced. They say, this music track was done a while back using using GarageBand on my iPhone 5S. There you go. As an artist, I wanted to draw some military art and write a track for the video. At the end of the video, you will hear a high-pitched noise and some sound effects. That was found by accident as I had my phone recording ambient sounds as I reached over to grab my phone. It gave me some feedback. I love it when you get those accidents. It's cool. With a little experimenting, it sounded organic and gave me the idea that whatever war was going on, it wasn't with humans, but a terrestrial monster that woke up from under the earth. Hence the last piece at the end of the video. A lot going on there. We may not see the end of the video because we do play one or two minutes of tracks, but uh, we'll see. We'll see what we get out of this one. Let's give it a spin, shall we? Uh, it is called Unexpected. Uh, Jorge Barriles on your music live. Currently have no active rounds in the Raven. We have Gator 6 in contact with 10 AIF and 1-0 enemy small arms RPG. 
Taking cover, over. Yeah, like suspenseful and then some, right? Yeah, you can't listen to that one and not be like slightly on edge. And uh, I'm not going to play the end of it. There's one minute to go, but guess what? You can go and check it out. That you know, I'll, I'll keep you hanging. I'll leave you hanging on that one because you can go down to the description and check that one out from Jorge, as well as all of the other amazing artists that we've played here on the show today. My faceless friends behind me, they would like you to go and do that. <laughs> all right, we have the selection has come in here from uh, Joe and Barry Glenn for because they were the winners of our play My Fire Beat segment and uh, we're going to start our under the covers section a little early here because they have chosen for us to play a cover tune a cover tune of one of my favorite artists which is Paul Simon and uh, this is their cover of Kathy's song which I don't know that I've heard before so there you go I'm in for a treat you're in for a treat let's give it a spin it is uh, Kathy's song Paul Simon cover Joe and Barry Glenn the play My Fire Beat winners here on your music live. Kathy song. Written by Paul Simon, performed by Art Garfunkel originally, and many other covers of the song. I hear the drizzle of the rain, like a memory it falls. Soft and warm. Continuing Tapping on my youth and rest And from the shelter of my mind Through the window of my eyes I gaze beyond the rain-drenched street Distracted and diffused, my thoughts are many miles away. They lie with you when you're asleep, and kiss you when you start your day. And as the song I was writing. Is left undone. I don't know why I spend my time writing songs I can't believe with words that tell and strain to yeah, we need we need uh, we need little Ted over here on drums, don't we? Or at least playing a cajon, something like that. Oh, very cool stuff there, Joe and Barry Glenn. Barry is a, a pro when it comes to the finger style guitar there, and uh, there is no voice quite like our friend Joe Glenn. Very uh, Judith Durham of the Seekers. Very, just got that classic 
folk sound that just you don't hear enough these days. It's very, very cool stuff. So thank you for sharing. See, that's the lovely serendipity of the Play My Firebeat segment here on this show is that we weren't going to play that one. That just came completely out of left field. They had a 1 in 34 chance of uh, of being selected and then they got to select that song and then you got to enjoy it. And you're probably like, oh, I didn't know Joe and Barry did, uh, did cover songs uh, in the live setting like that. I'm going to go to their YouTube channel and go check them out. I just love it. Love the randomness of all that jazz. Jazz. Very cool stuff. With this wonderful song in my head, I must get some sleep. Yes, I know it's getting pretty late for our friends in the UK and Europe, so I thank you for hanging out with us here on the show. Appreciate you being here for as long as you can. And don't forget, the show doesn't go away. It's available on replay 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So if you can't catch the whole show live or if you're watching on the replay, shout out to the replay crew out there because of the few hundred of you that tune in during the show, uh, when we're playing it, there's another probably a thousand odd folks or 500 to a thousand folks depending on the week that'll watch on the replay so uh welcome to all of you you are just as important just because you can't get here you know you have things that pesky things like jobs and pesky things like uh commitments paying bills all that sort of jazz so i know you can't always just be here listening to music but i do make it at the same time each week i'm trying to keep it to two hours now so that you can cram in as much good music in your ear holes as possible speaking of our european friends we have P.A. up next. P.A. featuring the Paneers. And uh, she says, I was back in the studio with my ride or die, the Paneers. Seattle's best producer and I would say the coolest, uh, the closest P.A. collab you can find on the internet. After two albums and several singles, we continue to fight the cloud together. Are you ready? Are you ready? I am. This is P.A. and the Paneers, Cloud of Doubt. Your music live. Letting go of everything with dark and smile so Let it fade into the sky to be away. cool always something this is the thing about pa she always has that certain level of intensity but brings it in a slightly different way in every track so even though when you hear a pa track or something that pa is collaborating on you know it's her but it's always kept interesting because there's always something new added to the mix so really good stuff there as always from pa with the paneers cloud of doubt yes very powerful stuff class as usual there from p a she brings the hip jams yeah if, see i can't say that because it makes me sound really old do you know what i like about that p a is she brings the hip jams i find her funky to the max sorry make me sound like an even older man than i already am let's jump over to the cloud of sounds shall we and grab our next tune this one's comes from uh alto rocks alto the rock star Ato the Rockstar. Let's go with that. Ato the Rockstar. Written and recorded in my bedroom. This song is a look into my mind and the deep struggles I face daily. We're going to give this one a spin. It is called Pretty Boy here on Your Music Live. Inside of my head 
How cool is that? Now, if that doesn't have some energy to get your feet tapping and you're moving and grooving, I don't know what does. Yeah, some nice sub bass in there, some nice poppy, punky, my chemical, romantic kind of vocals. And uh, yeah, the beat, a very cool hot beat on that one. The Pretty Boy by Ato the Rockstar here on Your Music Live. Pretty sure it's the first time we played that artist. We'd love to hear from you again because that's got some, uh, that is a fire beat. That's a, that's a fire beat by the true definition of the term fire beat. <laughs> Uh, very cool stuff there. Uh, coming up next, what do we got? We've got three songs left in the first half. We're then going to have our patented toilet break and be back for a big second hour here on Your Music Live. Do not forget, here's the things you need to remember. Number one, DistroKid are awesome, and you can check them out using the link up there or down in the description. If you're not already a DistroKid user and releasing your music to Spotify, Apple Music, Tidal, Deezer, Amazon, I don't know what you're waiting for. Because people want to hear your music and they want it to be as simple as saying, just search my name on whatever platform you're on and I'll be there. Right there next to Foo Fighters and Muse and Britney Spears, you'll find your music. The other thing I want you to do is, uh, if you're enjoying yourself, hit the thumbs up button. That would really help me out. That tells the YouTube robots to go tell the other YouTube robots to come and check out the show. And do not forget that uh, sharing is caring and uh, Karen is Sharon. So sharing the show is a great way to share the love. And many of you watching right now are watching this because a friend of yours told you to come and watch this show and submit your music. And that's how we have the best community of independent music in the world speaking of cool people and cool communities senses working overtime has a track here they say it's the first one of 2023 time to turn it up to 11 i was in the mood for something heavy i found a bit of heavy stuff very cathartic me too when i when i, I, I listen to tool whenever i'm feeling down and I'm, i want to be soothed i listen to the heaviest band that i know which is tool the Nerdy Notes, love the Nerdy Notes, recorded in GarageBand using Chavel Joe Dalfender Signature Pro Mod San Dimas Telecaster, Whew. and a Line 6 Varitax 705 modeling base in a Fender Precision Mode. Audient ID14 interface and Line 6 Pod X3 for all the guitar, bass and vocal, amp and cab models, and F. X and we're going to go from 108. So this is it. This is this sensor's working over time. A pro because he tells me where to go from. <laughs> tells me where to go. You can tell me where to go too if you submit your own song. Let's give this one a spin, shall we? Uh, this is called There's a Wicked Storm Coming. Sensor's working over time on your music live.
cool stuff indeed. Definitely uh, the heavier side of sensors working overtime there. A very, very cool tune. And as someone said there, uh, it takes a lot of skill to be able to play like that, to be able to produce a song like that, because it seems like people that don't know metal music and don't know heavy rock think that it's just mayhem and you just sit there and you just grind on a power chord for the five minutes and that's the song. But a lot of that takes a lot of precision timing and precision finger work and uh, de definitely done in that particular track. There's a wicked storm coming. Is that like a Boston thing? Yo, that's a wicked cool storm coming, yo. That's my busted accent. Oh, man, we're going to get an accent, so it must be close to toilet break time because, uh, yeah, too heavy? No, no, not at all. No such thing. No such thing as too heavy. <laughs> <laughs> yes, brutally, powerfully awesome stuff there. I dig it. Uh, now, I've, had to, I've switched the order up a little bit here because I did realize that I had a couple of tunes in here that uh, was, should have been in the cover section and weren't. So we've moved, we've done a little shuffling here, uh, but it just doesn't mean that we're not going to have any Happy Ron because it is time for some Happy Ron. Yeah, haven't heard from Happy Ron in a hot minute, have we? And uh, Happy Ron says, Your Music Live exclusive, first track in a month since Happy Ron has been spending time in the country. I, I did hear that. I, I got the, a news notification the other day that said, Happy Ron is moving to the country. He's going to eat a lot of peaches. No? No? Okay. Happy Ron has gone country. Oh! <laughs> Happy Ron has gone country. And when Happy Ron goes country, Happy Ron goes country hard. So uh, let's listen to this one from the one, the only Happy Ron. Uh, it is called She'll Have Fries With That. Uh, Happy Ron. A <laughs> little bit of country music here for you on your music live. You need to learn a woman's ups and downs Find out why she keeps you around You can ask my better half I've studied every tear and laugh And this is what I've found She likes the words I love you With our morning smooch She likes the feel of sawdust floors Under her cowboy boots a shot of grandpa's hooch She knows how to cheer me up Every time I'm feeling down She likes the sand of spring In the air, sight of autumn on the ground The gravel in my morning voice Smell of bacon on the rack She likes her Coke and Jack And yeah, she'll have fries with that Get to know a woman over time Sometimes you got to read between the lines You can hurt yourself with too much guessing You're better off to get her blessing Your first choice won't be right She makes the greatest coffee in my favorite cup She loves my hand running through her hair As we watch the sun come up And blaring, wailing in her truck she knows how to cheer me up every time I'm feeling down. She likes to sit in the spring in the air, side of autumn on the ground. The gravel in my morning voice, smell of bacon on the rack. She likes a Coke and Jack, and yeah, she'll have fries with that. Yeah, just the uh, the perfect country song, the sweet pedal steel in there, the really good um, hook there. She'll have fries with that. You'll be walking around bopping your head and thinking about that tune for the rest of the day, thanks to Happy Ron. Yeah, and uh, that's probably the, you know, this is always sounds like a backhanded compliment when I say things like this, but that is probably the best recorded, best produced, mixed mastered tune I've ever heard from Happy Ron. So I think... Ron is a, an example of practice makes progress because as you've heard Happy Ron playing and sharing music over the years, it just keeps getting better. And that's the thing. Not, not very few people have been like, oh man, I, uh, I started creating music and I did it for three years and four years and 10 years and 20 years and I just kept getting worse. It doesn't happen. Practice makes progress, people. So get in there and be like Happy Ron. Release your music. Uh, the last tune of our first half is coming up now. Don't forget, big second half. We've got the Under the Covers segment. We've got a, a metric crap ton of cover songs for you this week. It's a quite amazing how many covers came in. So we're going to be playing a heap of cover songs. We're also going to be doing another Play My Fire Beats segment. And uh, as always, we do it all thanks to the wonderful Distro Kid. Let's grab this next tune. This is from 
Evolution, and it's a track called Anxiety. I have a single called Anxiety too. Anxiety is my latest single from a long line of singles to come in 2023. So uh, let's us, you and me, have a listen to this one, shall we? Evolution with Anxiety here on Your Music Live. There is something about uh, UK artists uh, with the rap that just sounds so cool. Probably because I'm a big Mike Skinner Streets fan. But um, yeah, it sounds really, really cool indeed. Yeah, throw it, throw a like down there. Why not, says, uh, says Mark. Uh, yeah, the rapid fire beats, like really well created uh, beat as well as a really nice flow to that one as well. Yeah, if you're not dancing around, if you're not nodding your head or doing something like that, uh, yeah, you, you're, uh, you probably should be. A class track and uh, some nice vibes there from, uh, from our friend Evolution. Remember, it's not a revolution, folks. It's an evolution. Get, get on board. Join the evolution. Doesn't quite have the same ring to it, does it? Imagine if, like, Zach from Rage Against the Machine, when he got up there, he's like, yo, join the evolution, y'all. It's like, the evolution? Is it the revolution? I don't know. Something like that. Vibes, vibes, vickity, 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 vickity vibes. It is time. Look at that. We just ticked over exactly one hour. I don't think I've ever been this on time on a show ever. I must be, the practice makes progress for myself too. I must be getting a little bit better with the timing of this one. We are going to play our uh, our patented toilet break. Now, here's the thing. The toilet break is it comes from a, a late night show that used to be on here in Australia called the the late show and at the halfway mark because it was a two-hour show they would always play a toilet break and then they'd play something naff they'd play a little clip from a talent show called potluck that was always a little bit weird and wacky and not exactly awesome so i decided to use the same concept but flip it on its head and actually play something super awesome now the very first toilet break we ever played was a track from jade star and uh, because we're you know two and a half years in here now i thought we'd go back to our roots because jade's been working on well no she's been digging into the archives and has found a track from 1999. Remember the millennium? Yeah, we're all frantically running around working on the millennium bug, trying to stop the world from exploding. Uh, so she said, this is the opening track, Turnaround, from my old band Pepito, the album Bone Dragon, recorded in 1999 and never released until just recently. And that's the cool thing about DistroKid, our sponsor, is that Jay can just grab this track and grab this whole album and throw it out there and release it with the power of DistroKid. So please sit back, relax, and enjoy yourself a nice toilet break with our friend Jade Star, her band Pepper Toe, and from the Bone Dragon album, it is Turn Around on Your Music Live Toilet Break. <laughs> If a fight's a cry is what 
you want Turn around, return to bed Open eyes are not the same Because we live in the future, this gets to exist. Like, this would be buried. This would just be buried in someone's, you know, back room back in the day. But Joe's, Joe, <laughs> Jade has been able to catch it, pull it up out of the uh, out of obscurity and throw it out there. And uh, folks are digging it big time because it's a cool... It's like, it's, it's everything that... If you know Jade, it's everything you know about Jade's past. It's part Faith No More, Mr. Bungle. It's some cl- Counting Crows kind of in there. Some, just some funky 90s and noughties kind of rock sounds in there it just all comes together nicely so really dig it really good stuff yeah and uh, definitely some great musicians you can tell when people know their craft and know their instruments and uh, do do well do good stuff like that uh yeah a bit of beck there on the guitar solo yeah and i love, love the guitar tones on that one too really really cool stuff so uh if you if you want to learn more about that and hear more about it and check out the whole album the link is in the description and of course you can go over to jade's how to app on ios channel for all the goodness uh let's uh, kick off man like i said we do have a heap of cover songs here today. So uh, I think we just need to crack straight into them and start playing some covers. What do you reckon? Let's do it. We're going to start with Fico and Friends, our uh, our friend Fico, the Croatian rocker. Uh, He says, this is a cover song originally done by a Croatian band, Goran Bear and Mayake. Definitely pronounced that wrong. Anyway, it is uh, Fico the Creation Rocker and Friends. Uh, some of you, if you, especially if you tune into the Metalhead Hippie Show, you'll know many of the folks playing on this one. Uh, it is called Teske Bohe. It's Fico. It's his friends. It rocks. Let's listen. <laughs> Yeah, I'm a 
Nico is yet another artist who uh, continues to work on his craft and collaborate with great musicians and create super cool music. And he's just a funky dude. So uh, do go and check out Fico and uh, all of the other tunes that he's made both by himself and with his talented friends. Uh, yeah, exactly. Cover songs that you don't know. You're going to get it. You're going to get different languages. You're going to get all sorts of things here on Your Music Live. And uh, you never know what the next one's going to be. Well, I do because I got the playlist. And in fact, you do too because the playlist is already there. Don't tell anyone. But uh, great stuff there from Fico, the Croatian rocker. Good night, Mark Kronk song, Lovell. Uh, we haven't heard it. Did I have a Kronk song sh- uh, on the show today? But we do have a Kronk song on the show because if you like the theme music of this very show, the Your Music, Your Music, Your Music Live, that is our friend Kronk song that provides that theme music. So we do thank him. Uh, I often forget to thank him for uh, providing that theme music and letting me use it every week. Uh, but it's cool. It just kicks off the show in just the right way. It gives us that energy and that hype to get going. Uh, next up, Mick Bass has got a track. They say, love the original by Licky Lee. That's why I tried this version. Completely amateur home recording, I know, but I like it. As always, Kyle and Johnny of GarageBand on drums and guitar. Very cool stuff. Use your GarageBand instruments to your own benefit. Uh, this is I Follow Rivers, Mick Bass, your music live. Now, I don't know the original. Again, a lot of these cover songs that we're playing today, many I know, but some I don't know at all. But that's a cool tune. I Follow Rivers. Don't know the original artist and uh, don't know the song, but uh, really well done and brought to life there by Mick Bass. And uh, again, it just shows you what you can do with GarageBand. If you don't have a backing track or you, you don't think you're able to put together your own backing track, just use GarageBand. There's things like Session Band that can help you do it. There's so many tools these days. There's tools like me that can help you make music and there's tools that you use on your phone and your iPad and your Mac and your PC and your tablet and your watch maybe one day. Who knows? GarageBand for Apple Watch. I know I do the joke every year. On April Fool's Day, I usually put out some sort of random thing about uh, GarageBand on a watch or GarageBand on, on your car display or something. And unfortunately, a lot of people go, oh, wow, that's really cool. Because the lines are so blurred between what's actually possible and what's not these days that, uh, yeah, it's uh, it's crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. All righty. Thank you very much for that one. It was indeed cool, wasn't it, Scott? I, I love it. I agree. Dad jokes. I know, right? Sorry. I'm a dad. What can I say? <laughs> I'm not going to be doing like cool young person jokes because I'm not cool or young. But uh, yeah, that was indeed good. Uh, we will have a Play My Fire beat coming up. We've got about another six cover songs. We've got a heap of cover songs. And then we will be doing our second Play My Fire beat. So get yourself ready for that. If you've got a song that you would like to have the opportunity to have played here on the show, you can go ahead and do that. But before that, we have a Fleetwood Mac cover from our friend Gregory O'Sullivan, who says a cover of Songbird by Sweetwood, Sweetwood Mac. Fleetwood Mac, Steinberg Cubase Pro 12, Steinberg The Grand 3, uh, Bosendorfer 290 Piano, Synthesizer V Studio Pro Vocals, Solana, and Eleanor Forte Al. Big Fleetwood Mac fan. It was very sad for me. Uh, so yeah, this is um, this is very cool. And whenever I hear 
oh wow, AI vocal, like AI music and AI vocals are amazing, and and you know these really technical and smart people can create them. I'm like, Gregory O'Sullivan has been creating them here in the community for like a year now. It's old news, man. Uh, so Gregory O'Sullivan outdoing himself again here with Songbird's Fleetwood Mac cover here on your music live under the covers. Love the feel. Amazing how you can create that amount of feeling using a uh, te- what is technically a robot voice. Like uh, that that has more emotion than many human singers that I've come across in the past. But yeah, very very well done there from Gregory O'Sullivan. Gregory, I know. You, look, I asked Gregory how he did this stuff, and he sent me like all the links and all the things. And I took one look at it, and went. Yeah, way too hard for me. Too hard basket. But uh, Gregory, you should totally do a video going behind the scenes and showing how you do this. Unless you want to keep it your own little secret, which is totally cool too. But very cool stuff there from Mr. Gregory O'Sullivan. Uh, Up next, we have Ezekiel Munscombe who says, I don't know if you accept covers. I do. Especially when it's a cover of the classic Kermit the Frog tune. So we're going to jump over here now too. The Cloud of Sounds. I'm going to play this one. It's Ezekiel Mianskum and Rainbow Connection, one of my favorite songs of all time here on You Music Live. Bound rainbows and what's on the other side. Rainbows are visions, but only illusions. Rainbows have nothing to hide. So we've been told, and some choose to be. I know the wrong way and see Wrong way and someday we'll find it The rainbow connection The lovers, the dreamers and me I really like 
like it. I like the little bit at the start with like the yeah you know, the band getting together. Kind of remind me of some Beatles tracks and Beach Boys tracks where you'd hear the bit at the start where the band are kind of collecting themselves together and counting themselves in and stuff. So always love it when we get something like that. So I uh, thank you, Ezekiel. A little bit of Rainbow Connect. Yeah, you can just you can hear it, can't you? When an artist is having fun, you can hear it. Uh, very cool stuff indeed. That's a good question, Jerry. How do we know if Gregory is real or not? Maybe Gregory is programmed because uh, has anyone actually seen? Oh no, wait. He's done a he's done a video where he's showed his face as he's uh, when he's singing a cover song. So uh, he must exist, or does he? Maybe that's AI too. Maybe he's so good at AI, he's created an AI uh, avatar of himself. <laughs> Maybe. Or maybe not. Uh, let's uh, continue on. Uh, I've, I've got one question for you. Would you like to get your jazz hands in the air? Uh, it's, a, it's a rhetorical question because you get your jazz hands in the air. Because we got some autism rocks coming your way. It says, oh, hey, the Lumineers cover. Micah's little cousin Liam provided the haze and hose. Very fun song to play. All recorded on the Mac with Logic. So this is, of course, Danny and Micah, the positive autism. Autism rocks with Ho. Hey, Luminous cover on your music live. Ho. Trying to do it right. Hey. I've been living a lonely life. Oh. I've been sleeping here instead. Hey. I'm a sleeping in my bed. Sleeping in my bed. I'm a little Very cool. Gotta love the Lumineers. Such a fun song. And I uh, love it when you get the family together and make music together. That's what it's all about, isn't it? Very cool stuff there from The Positive Autism. Autism rocks. Yes, yeah, so friggin' cute. I agree. Uh, yeah, just, just throw a little kid in anything. Um, and the, the good thing about children and animals, as so many professionals have said when you're creating video, is that they're also easy to work with. <laughs> I'm sure, I'm sure nothing possibly I go wrong. Uh, good stuff there from uh, our friends. The Positive Autism, Micah and Danny. Thank you, you folks rock. All righty, uh, we've got three more songs left here in our Under the Covers segment. Then we will be doing my pl our Play My Fire beat. Uh, this one comes to us from Wild Rose CC, who said, I thought this would be fairly easy, but no. <laughs> try singing a song softly and try mixing that with the rest of what's going on. Duplicating the same track is not always the answer. Pete at least made it through the first chorus. It's a bit nostalgic. A little bit of nostalgia because it is The Shins. It's the past and pending Wild Rose CC here on your music live. To the first fire of autumn We settle down to Cut ourselves apart Cough and we twitch From the news on your face And some foreign candle Burning in your eyes Oh, mm -hmm. 
to the fog, another low road descending away from the cold blast. Your house in the summertime. Dancing an ancient torch, loading the whole day through, and you should tell very good stuff there from Wild Rose CC. Good job sticking with it. Sometimes the things that are challenging come out the best. So uh, very cool stuff there with a little shins there. Yeah, sung really well. I agree. I concur. Good stuff. Uh, and as always, you can check that and all the other songs we play on this show down in the description, including this next one. Uh, now, this is Jonathan Linton. Jonathan Linton is like the most versatile man in all of music in this community because he plays cover songs, he plays originals, he has live sets that he plays, and he always brings the awesomeness. And this time, he's got a cover of a German language song from the band Jupiter Jones. So just when you thought Jonathan Linton couldn't do everything, appears that he can. Let's have a listen to this one, shall we? Jonathan Linton with still a live cover here on Your Music Live. Next song is a song in German. You just don't have to have the words. You don't have to know what's being sung to be able to enjoy that it's very, very cool track. Very well done there from Jonathan Linton, the man of many talents. And uh, yes, playing along to a backing track, you would have seen the iPad at the start there being uh, hit. It'd be interesting to know, Jonathan, what your, your setup is there for live gigs or what you use to play that sort of stuff. This, I, love, I love the behind the scenes nerdiness. So it'd be great to know a little bit more about uh, how you set up for, for your live gigs with the backing track because that is really super cool. Hey, John W. Adams Machine. Uh, sounds fantastic, does indeed. Yeah, very cool stuff uh, all around. Enjoyable, enjoyable stuff. We got ourselves one last song here, one last cover song. We're going to jump over to the Cloud of Sounds and this is going to be uh, Joe-O. Joa? J-O. Uh, Joe-O. Anyway, it is a cover of Beyonce's Virgo's Groove. This song is a seductive yet joyous explosion of vocal layering and acrobatics. It's a long one, so play from 345. I'm going to line this one up to the 345 mark over here on the Cloud of Sounds and uh, give this one a play, shall we? Uh, let's give this one a spin. It is a cover of Beyonce. It is Joe on your music live. No excuse. 
touch somebody. Touch me. To love somebody. Love me. To trust somebody. Do trust me. Go ahead and hug somebody. Cause I can see the light in you. Everybody wants somebody. Oh. Everybody got somebody. I got you. Come around, want my body. You are. You are. You are. cool is that it's like boys to men meets beyonce <laughs> it's very cool stuff indeed i love the layering of those vocals and the harmonies kicking in there just sounded good yeah <laughs> must have been a nightmare i know all of us that are producing music we're just like wow yeah that would have taken a long time to produce and to, to mix and to make that sound cool but yeah nice bass in that one but yeah the, the vocals were definitely the stars of that one as well so thank you for sharing that thank you to all of our wonderful cover artists for sharing we still have a bunch of original tunes to play here in the last half an hour of the show but before we do that it is time for another play my fire beat so uh if you would like to, 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 to do that, let's uh, let's come over here. What should our keyword be this term? Let's do hashtag, hashtag. No, we wouldn't do that. But I'm going to tell you boys, let's put, make it boy. No, let's, that, could, that could get, let's go get men. No, that could get, <laughs> let's just make it hashtag funk. <laughs> I love that John's is like, I don't want it to be any word that might sound a bit, uh, a bit dodgy. I won't put men or boys or anything. Oh, I know, funk. That doesn't sound like any other word. <laughs> So if you would like to uh, to to have an opportunity to have one of your songs played right here on the show, uh, all you need to do is put hashtag funk, just like our friends here are doing so in the chat. And uh, you'll have an opportunity to have one of your songs. And even if you've had a song featured, don't worry, uh, you can have a twofa. You can have another song featured on the show. Uh, the show, which is brought to you, as Jade Starr has so conveniently put here in the chat, by Distro Kid. District Kid are amazing. They help you release your music to all the platforms. Less than $20 per year. Unlimited amount of songs, EPs and albums. Use the link above. Save yourself 7% off your first year. I've been saying it for a long time, but I will keep saying it until each and every one of you actually know. Once everyone's on there, they might not sponsor us anymore. They probably will because they're just that cool. <laughs> But I know many of you are still on the fence about releasing your music. I'm telling you, take it from old man John's. One of the best things you'll ever do is to get your music out there on all the platforms. Nothing cooler than uh, listening to music, listening to all your favorite artists and knowing that you are sitting, that you are sharing the stage, the virtual stage with your favorite artists. While we wait for your hashtag funks to come on in, uh, let's play on the track. This one comes to us from Holton Modi. He says, I recorded this song completely using GarageBand. I played keyboard, programmed the drums, and recorded the vocals. It is called Never Came Back. Uh, I think you're going to enjoy this one. This is Holton Modi, Never Came Back on your music live. <laughs> Tears in your eyes, I've never cried this much before In my heart, I'm warning signs Telling me don't run away no more I've been waiting for the night time When the blue skies fade to black I've been waiting for somebody But they never came back Rise up from the ground 
Yeah, really cool sounds in there. Some interesting samples and some uh, instruments and sounds in there from uh, Holton Modi. Yeah, very cool stuff uh, there and uh, a talented talented young artist i'm assuming young uh, probably younger than i am uh, but yeah it's, it's great that garage but again the democratization of music these days that anyone can just start creating music and that's uh, that's great stuff there from holton modi so thank you for sharing hope we hear more from you in the future yeah very original very modern sounds exactly i like it it wasn't doing the same thing that everything else is doing and that's part of the the challenge with music is to do things a little different all righty uh you've got about a twice as good a chance as winning this time folks because uh in the second half we've only had uh, 16 entries as opposed to the uh, 34 entries we had in the first time around so i'm gonna have to sing along while we spin the wheel on this time so uh, should we hit the draw button and see who Guess this one. Good luck, everyone. Who's going to win a free play on Studio Live today? Day? Is it going to be Mark Bro? Or is it going to be Jay Star? Or is it going to be Daniel Fugat? Yeah, Daniel Fugat. Wicked, wicked, wicked Daniel Fugat. Daniel, congratulations. <laughs> Sorry, I thought I had my mojo on there. Uh, Daniel is the winner of our play, My Fire Beat. So, all you need to do, Daniel, I'm pretty sure you know the drill is right here in the chat is just put your artist name, the platforms like YouTube, SoundCloud, Slaps.com, wherever it's stored, and then the name of the track that you would like us to play. And we will go ahead and spin that one up in just a wee jiffy, just after this next song. So we'll give Daniel some thinking time and some time to type in what he would like. And while we wait on that one, uh, let's get uh, Keith DeBoudwo, uh, who says, this song is an age-old story. Basically, a guy feeling old, thinking about his younger days and a young kid making fun of him, ending with him saying, I've seen and done more than you ever will. On guitar and co-written by Joe Motta, mixed, mastered and produced by the infamous Brian J. Anthony. So it is going to be called The Old Man and it is Keith DeBoudwo with Joe Motta here on Your Music Live. <laughs> Time way long ago My hair was long My eyes were sharp I had a fire below country it's a little bit rock and roll and it's really really well produced i think everyone uh, commenting here in the chat is saying the same thing that the production on that one is absolutely top 
notch. Really good stuff there from Keith Daboudwu and Joe Motta and the old man. It's like the it's the cats in the cradle or it's um, what's the other one? The father and son. <laughs> it's like the new version of the Cat Stevens father and son song. Yeah, definitely a pro level track for that one. Yeah, I thought it was kind of country. I thought it had a little bit of that country kind of groove going along there. But yeah, really, really good. Could, could definitely pass as something, something a little country. Mrs. Russ would like it. There you go. Must be good. Uh, good stuff there. Now, uh, Daniel from Middle Suburbia has uh, chosen his song. But guess what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play one more track and then we're going to play Daniel's song. Why? Because Middle Suburbia already had a song on the playlist. And I just love the idea of it being a back-to-back. So we're going to play Nahar Mapanka's track first, and then we're going to give you a double whammy at two shots of Middle Suburbia. Sorry, you have to go to your FM radio morning zoo DJ announcer voice when you're doing a double shot of hard rock. Or not. Uh, Nahar Mapanka. <laughs> Sorry, Nahar. I know I've got off track before I announced your song. He says, Hi, Pete. How are you? I'm great. This one's more of a chill vibe, something to relax to. I hope you and the lovely people like it. Well, I think we will. Let's give this one a spin, shall we? It is over here on the Cloud of Sounds. It is Nahar Mapanka and Arcane here on Your Music Live. with Arcane here on Your Music Live. How cool is that? That is a chill vibe. Could be hold music, yeah. Definitely be better than a lot of the hold music that uh, that you hear if you're trying to call like a government agency here in Australia. My goodness, do they need to update this stuff, especially like someone like Telstra or Centrelink or these places here in Australia. Uh, is that what a duck's echo sound like? Quack, 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 something like that. <laughs> Good stuff there from uh, our friend Naha Mapanka. Uh, right, so we just did our Play My Fire beat, and Daniel, uh, aka or a member thereof, Middle Suburbia, was the winner and has chosen a Middle Suburbia track called Crash and Burn to play. And I've held it off for one track because we already had Middle Suburbia on the playlist. So you're going to get a treat here of uh, a back to back, a double whammy of Middle Suburbia. So here is the Play My Fire Beat selection from Daniel, Middle Suburbia, Crash and Burn, here on your Music Live.
Suburbia, Crash and Burn. What great use of the garage band guitars there. Really did, uh, really did sound good. And it just goes to show again, because we live in the future, you don't even need real guitars to play and to create a cool track. And that one was a cool track. So good stuff there from Middle Suburbia and Crash and Burn. Let's grab another track from Middle Suburbia. Yeah, this is the one that they uh, submitted and we had on the playlist here for today. They, uh, uh, Daniel Sense, I released a single earlier in the fall. I know it's already been played on here, but I think it's worthy of another spin. Also, I wanted uh, my first to know, my first EP will be dropping in January, including this song. Is it out now, Daniel? Is the, is the EP out now, since we are now in January? Uh, let us know if the, if the song has been now released, if the, if the EP is out. Uh, so this one is called Tonight, Good Night, Middle Suburbia, uh, a Tufa here on Your Music Live. <laughs> my song Would you say the notes are wrong Would you tell me that it's the best you ever heard If you were to hear me sing Would you like the song I bring you tell me that my voice needs a little work And so tonight, good night I hope the words came out right And so it goes every time I'm letting go of what is mine If you were to hear my song Would you say the notes are wrong? Or would you tell me that it's the best you ever heard? Great stuff there from uh, Daniel. Middle Suburbia here on Your Music Live, a Trufa. And uh, yes, I have indeed just gone over and found the album uh, Snapshots. So if you do want to check that one out, uh, it's on all the platforms. There it is on YouTube Music. Uh, I'm sure it's available on all the other places. And uh, just search Middle Suburbia. I'm sure you'll find it. Good stuff there from, uh, from Daniel, a.k.a. Middle Suburbia. And of course, you know the sign of quality because uh, look at that, provided to YouTube by DistroKid. So there you go. You know, it's even better. See, good music sounds actually better when you release it with DistroKid. No, it's a fact. It's not a fact. But it is easier to release and distribute with DistroKid. All right, we've, uh, we've got a few more tracks to play for you here today. We've got four of them, in fact. We're going to finish on time, unless John's rabbit's on, which he's about to do. Because I did want to uh, call out a few things. Yeah, if you're wondering about the no-faced people, Fat Panda Cat said quite a while ago, uh, yeah, these are the the classic AI artwork people. I wanted a, a background for a, a unique background. And Canva.com, who I use for my design work, they now have an AI auto-generating thing. So I think I said um, a band of lizards playing in the dark or something like that, and it gave me these people. So go figure. But I thought it was interesting. Uh, yeah, very, very, very strange. Pizza, the extra is looking like from the Chainsaw Massacre, says Jerry Gomes. Yeah, a little bit like that. And uh, we asked Jonathan about his setup. So uh, he's using Band Helper app on iPad Pro using a battery powered Bluetooth ah, to XLR three and a half mil output unit. There you go. So I guess it, because it's Bluetooth, it's okay because you're just playing along as a backing track. So even if there's a slight bit of latency, it doesn't matter because you'll just 
align yourself to the latency of the Bluetooth playback. That's pretty clever. I like it. And uh, super cool unit. You can switch from mono to stereo. It has XLR outs and volume control. So when the sound guy mixes a backing track too low, 90% of the time you can crank. Oh, there you go. So it even gives you your own little your own little dial so that when, uh, yeah, when you get mixed too low by the mix engineer, because a lot of these places, uh, <laughs> smaller venues don't exactly have the greatest uh, mix engineers, uh, then, yeah, you can just go ahead and do that. You can uh, pump up your sound. Very cool stuff. Uh, thank you again to, uh, to, to Jonathan for sharing that information. And thanks to uh, Daniel for, uh, for sharing his music. All right, four songs to go. This is the semi-anti-penultimate song. We're going to jump over to slaps.com. This is our slap of the week. Yeah, because this song slaps and it's from, uh, it, it's from someone who you will know well. Uh, if you've been hanging around this community for a while. Uh, it is our old mate, Mr. Mark Bro, and he has a track here. He says, it's the story of my in-laws still at the demo stage. Final mix and video coming later. I started this three years ago, but with that damn bug going around, I couldn't get it presented to my family until this year's holidays. I wanted permission to make it public since, after all, it's their story. Uh, both are in their mid-80s and the sweetest people I ever met. I love it. I love, I love family. I love it when music is about family and I love it when you can share that. Like they, they would have been absolutely chuffed, I'm sure, to, to hear this. Uh, so we're going to take a listen to it. I'm going to try my best French pronunciation here for you, Mark. It is L'Infermier P. Le Macano. Uh, oh, I went a bit Italian there at the end. No, would it be Le Macano? Macano? I don't know. I'm so sorry, Mark. Uh, a song that tells the story of my in-laws and it is Mr. Mark Bro here on Your Music Live. Celle du village qu'ils se sont rencontrés Quand il l'a vu, il s'est tout de suite monté intéressé De son côté, elle a trouvé qu'il avait de l'entre-jean Avec en plus un petit côté charmant Avec le temps, il a réussi à l'amener devant l'hôtel Se promet d'amour, fidélité devant les hommes et l'éternel il a dit ma claire, la vie à deux, ça a du bon A répondu, comme toi et Robert, tu vas être père, ce sera pas long C'est une simple histoire d'amour qui a traversé le temps Deux vies qui ne font qu'une et qui a donné quatre beaux enfants C'est une simple histoire d'amour, mais c'est ce qu'il y a de plus beau Entre l'infirmière et le mécano Fil des ans, un après l'autre, les enfants sont arrivés. Trois filles, un gars à cajoler, aimé puis éduqué. La part était pas assez grande, ça prenait une maison. Déménager était la solution. Vivre en banlieue, c'est bien, et puis le temps a passé vite. Ça a demandé des sacrifices de la boutonne, des chiffres de nuit. Lentement les enfants sont partis Se sont trouvés des conjoints sont allés vivre leur vie C'est une simple histoire d'amour qui a traversé So fun very cool stuff there mark i'm sure it went down a treat and would have been super appreciated but uh amazing stuff there i was listening out for words i understood les enfants is all i got children <laughs> <laughs> so uh yeah when the video comes out the translation will be in the screen oh excellent yeah that'd be cool because uh folks like myself ignorant people like myself that can speak just the one language i did study french for about five years you'd think i would remember more of it i remember this much je m'appelle pierre uh ça va ça va bien merci uh quelle heure est il uh oh is uh i can't even say it's 10 o'clock <laughs> <laughs> oh man um and uh yeah no, i thought there was a song um it was called about uh, red basketball shoes in the french book that i studied with and it went ba 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 basket rouge like french for red bar. you know how i said we we're going to finish on time as long as john's didn't rabbit on well guess what john's just did he rabbited on so much that we're probably going to go over time again <gasps> Holy dolly dolly. All right, let's, um, let's, let's play our next song because it is our third to last song, which means it's our anti-penultimate tune. And it is Mr. Ryan 
Rogers, who says, this is a song about frustration, wanting to write a song that matters, like Dylan or The Clash, and coming to the realisation that you are not Dylan or The Clash, so you wrote another dumb, sweet love song. I love it. Love the premise, and uh, if it's Ryan Rogers, you know it is going to be good. So let's jump over to the cloud of sounds. Take a listen to this one, Aaron. Dip an ultimate song, another long, dumb, sweet love song. Ryan Rogers on your music live. There's no stopping the masters of war. To pay the bill somehow We're born to kill So charge a fee The only price to pay is more And I've held me out And it's our turn to reap the pain To get it out But every time I've something to say I write another long, dumb, sweet love song That's all I want to do Write them long, dumb, sweet love songs And just enjoy the view Cause loving is an easier fix And you know I never cozy with conflicts I write another long, dumb Sweet love song for you. Those pre prophets. How cool are such is a that? You've got to go and listen to the whole song because it's really well written. Some amazing songwriting. A really catchy hook there. The long dumb sweet love song. Really, really cool. Really well done. And yeah. Definitely has an REM vibe to it. Again, I know, I know, we want to refrain from making all the comparisons, but when, it, when you're comparing it to something good, I think that's okay. And REM are one of my favorite bands. So, yeah, very cool stuff there. Ryan Rogers, and that was our anti penultimate song. It is time. We've got a couple of special ones to finish off here. I'm not going to lie to you. We've got a couple of collaborative efforts, which I always love to see. This one's super special because if you've been around this channel for a while, you know of an artist by the name of Marcus Cannell. Yeah, he's the guy that does all those amazing melodic metal, instrumental, anthemic rock anthems. And he's teamed up with someone. He says, New Year with new songs. This first song is a collaboration with a super talented singer and musician from Norway, yeah, you know who it is. Auntie G, Gertrude. My goodness. Uh, I'm incredibly grateful that she wanted to work with me on this song. And that is from Marcus. So, again, it's a little bit... If, if you've been around this community for a while, you know of both Auntie G, amazing sort of country singer, songwriter, uh, originally from South Africa, now living in Norway. And uh, you'd be aware of, uh, of Marcus Cannell creating amazing music. And this is called April Fool. Marcus Cannell, Ali G, together at last on your music live.
ridiculously cool is that? Yes, yeah, very huge. Uh, isn't it a huge sound? Is it huge with a Y? Huge sound. Very cool stuff there. I dig it. Yeah, I know. Isn't it cool when a plan comes together when you have a couple of artists like uh, Marcus Cannell and Auntie G? Like, it, it's not that they're the least likely that I would have thought to get together and team up on a song, but they're certainly far from the most likely that I would have gone there with. But I've known both of those artists for a couple of years now. They've both contributed many amazing songs to the community. And uh, yeah, just we live in the future, folks. The fact that you can collaborate with anyone anywhere in the world is just amazing. So great stuff there from uh, from those two. And uh, you can go and check out that and all of the stuff down in the description. Every song we've played here tonight has, is down in the description. Hey, Sean Chandler. Uh, every link to everywhere where you need to go. So if you want to follow me, you want to follow Studio Live today, you want to keep up to date with all the latest shows, you want to catch uh, all of the, the Garage Band Weekly and the Your Music Live and the Happy Hour and all the shows we do here, those are all over at studiolivetoday.com. I would like to put a huge thank you out there to DistroKid. They sponsor this show. They are the ones who bring the awesome to you week after week. Their commitment to independent music is second to none. They make it super simple for you to release your music and they sponsor channels like me. They allow me to do this for you every week and for this to be my full-time job and we couldn't do it without the support of distro kids so if you are in the market to release your music to the world check it out up the top there the links there and down below save yourself seven percent off your first year on any distro kid plan did you have fun today did you enjoy the show man were there some good tracks some amazing music on the show you can go on down to the description and relive all of them by checking them all out down there and if you did have some fun now uh, throw the little thumb up button down below on leave a comment let us know what you dug who your favorites were from the show or just say that everything was cool because it kind of was i do want to thank all of you for submitting your music and all of you for being here and enjoying the show here today it wouldn't be a show without you because my music live would be very boring uh, your music live adds that extra bit of spice that just makes this show super duper cool we are going to finish with this one. This is our ultimate song. This is from uh, our mate Dom Torregrossa. He says, hi, Pete. Here's a song I released on the 1st of the 1st, 2023. And I like that date because whether you use the month date or the date month, it's still the 1st of the 1st. Uh, my bud Chris Lane Sr. is playing bass on this one. Toodles. And that's from Dom Torregrossa. And we are going to finish with this one to take us out here on Your Music Live. It is What Went Wrong. Tom Torregrossa. Uh, featuring Chris Lane Sr. I'll see you next time on Your Music Live. Ciao for now.